Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to empty out a silo and sell the silage over there at the sell point using cosplay and the empty and fill shovel mode. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the JCB wheel loader, but you can use any front loader that you'd like. Um, we're on Goldcrest Valley and right in front of us we have a full silo here that is fully fermented and ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is jump into the tractor, or the wheel loader in this case, and start up the engine. There we go. Now the next thing we want to do is start up course plate, which we do by clicking the right mouse button. And once we have the hut open here, we want to be in the fill and empty shovel mode, which is this button here. And now we're ready to start the course recording. The course recording for this one is a simple loop where we start out by filling up the shovel uh, with silage. Once we have that full, we're going to go over to the cell point over here and empty out the shovel. And then we're going to return to the start point, which, was, which will be around here. So to set up the course, we need to first of all lift up, uh, lift up the shovel here and then start the course recording, which we do by clicking this button here. Now, before we start the course recording, I want to be sure that we are somewhat in the center of uh, the silo. It seems just about fine there. So I start up the course recording, and now we drive up to the silo, and we want to stop just about there. That seems fine. So we're going to set a wait point here, this wait point indicates to Causeplay that from this point on here, right here, and forwards, it needs to perform an action. So we need to tell it how far in it has to go. Oh, and we're kind of stuck here. Come on. I can't get up. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. So we need to drive all the way through the silo here which would probably have been a lot easier if the silo had been empty. So you can record these courses without anything in the silo. So if you know that you are going to set up a course like this, you would probably want to record it without anything in the silo. Now the ideal situation would be to go just outside of the silo on the other end, but seeing as I know that I can't get up again, I'm going to stop here. So I'm going to set a wait point here. Again, Courseplay will know that once it reaches uh, it between that waypoint way over there and this waypoint here, <coughs> pardon me, it needs to perform an action. So once we're at the end of the silo, we're going to press the reverse driving, which is this button here, and we're just going to reverse out of the silo again. Here we go. Probably want to slow down a little bit here. All right, that seems about fine. And like so here we go so now that we are outside the silo and <clears throat> we're kind of facing the cell point we're going to stop reversing and start the forward driving again so now we want to drive over to the cell point over here and we're going to line up so we are sort of in the middle of the cell point and that seems about fine and we're going to set a wait point here as well this is to tell Cosplay that it has to unload here. So now that now that we have a wait point here, we have a wait point over here, and we have a wait point here. We are done with the wait points. We have now told Cosplay that this is the route that it needs to take. So now we need to tell it to go back to the start. So we're going to press the reverse driving once again, and back away from the cell point. Here we go. And start the forward driving again and then return to the start of the course which is up here so we want to position ourselves oops that was terrible but all right we're gonna see if that works not the best course but hey let's see if we can do it okay so now that we have the course set up uh, the driving course we need to tell course play how to position the shovel so to do that, we're going to go into this one here, which is the shovel positions. So in here we have the loading position, we have the transport position, pre-unloading position, and the unloading position. So let's set the loading position, which will be all the way to the ground. 
we want it to be like that. That seems about fine. Once we're happy with the position, we're going to press this icon here, which will, in the, which will then say OK once we press it, and the icon will turn green. The transport position, we probably want that to be like that. Seems about fine. The pre-unloading position, which is how we want um, the shovel to be when it's hovering above the sell point. I'm not ready to sell yet, or not ready to unload. It should be like that. There we go. And the unload position obviously will be like that. Alright, so now that we have the shovel position set up, we're pretty much ready to, to drive the cores. If you want to see, or if you want to make sure, or want to test these positions, the shovel positions, you can press the play button out here, and it will then put the shovel into the position of loading, transport, pre-unloading, and unloading. Well, let's put that into transport position. There we go. And now we can drive the course. So let's test if this works. He's getting a full shovel there. That's quite a load. And driving over to the unload point. And then he's going to return to the start of the course. So this is the tricky one with this course because that wasn't really set up re very well. Let's see if he can do it without crashing into stuff. Should be able to. Oh boy, I set that up terribly. Oh well, he's going to try. It seems to be working. Let's jump out and let, let's see if he can do it on his own. So we don't need to watch him do it. Now he's going to empty out the entire silo here. And the shovel he has on, on the wheel loader can actually hold quite a load. It's just about 10,000 liters. So I think he's going to be fast enough to fill up this one. Yeah, see it doesn't actually empty out before he returns with the next load. So at some point the hopper here will get full and um, let's just have a look up here. Yeah, At some point this will get fill or full and once it's full he's gonna stop with the shovel above the hopper and slowly empty out as soon as there's room in the hopper. So that's how that works. Okay, so the course is actually working, and he seems to be doing just fine, even though I set up this terrible turn over here at the end. But he's actually doing fine, so let's go ahead and save this course, and we're going to call that uh, BGA Silo 5 Unload. Uh, I think this is north, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's north. Was that south? I can't remember now. Anyway. That was south. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. We'll rename that. So, BGA Silo 5 on load south. There we go. So, the on load north, we can delete that one. Anyway, we can't right now, but we will. This one here we're going to put into the BGA container, which is this one there. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, that's how to set up Courseplay to automatically unload the silo. And you can tell that he's going straight up to the side of the silo as well. He's not just doing in the middle, he's actually determined how wide is the silo. So. I can just 
jump out and let him do this all day and the money will pour in. Not that I actually need it right now, but... Yeah, you get the idea. Now you can use this if you want to empty out silos like this for the BGA. You can also use it for manure or whatever you really want to unload. Uh, you can set it up to have a unload course into a trailer if you wanted that. Um, the possibilities are endless really, so there's so many possibilities with this. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something. Um, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.